been to the one and only Mr. Merciless Badass. Welcome to the Murder Show. What's the goddamn deal, people? Welcome to the Murder Show. And I'm still out here in Modern Warfare looking for a good cage match. I ain't going nowhere. And if you don't like it, come out here and remove me from this motherfucker. I dare you. Going up against another 10th prestige. Mad Mexican 101. I know y'all don't like seeing me beat up on noobs. But if they jump their ass in my lobby, I ain't got no remorse for them. I'm going to hand them their issue. And a piece of tissue. Goodbye, have a great day. Maybe you can get your practice up. Come back and try it again. As he lays me down with the shotgun, I take that. I take that. I ain't mad at the shotgunners. You know what I'm saying? They want to run around with a shotgun, give them plenty of room. Make sure you stay out of shotgun range. You know what I'm saying? Pick their ass off when they coming up out the spawn. It's 1v1 cage match, baby. And I'm having a blast out here. I don't have no desire at all whatsoever to play Black Ops 3 anymore. Maybe it's all the boost jumping, the fruity colors. That was a nasty ass jump kill with that Desert Eagle, wasn't it? I don't need to see nobody jumping no more than that. The shit was fun when it first came out. I ain't gonna lie, I was a fan of the advanced movements. But all that shit done got out of hand. I didn't plumb had enough of it. <laughs> you know, it's people out there taking advantage of that shit. You know, they run back and forth on the wall so they can get higher and higher. Next thing you know, they 40 and 50 feet in the air coming at you with pixie dust sprinkling out their ass looking like Peter Pan. That's enough of that shit. This here boost on the ground is where it's at. And I can't say that I miss all the advanced movements. All the unlimited sprinting shit. Sometimes you need to slow your ass down, keep your gun up. And pay attention to what's going on on the screen and stop stop rushing and scrambling around trying to trying to hunt for people. Mmm. Stopping power dumps on juggernaut every time. As I get the air strike on him. Hopefully I won't kill myself this time. You know this shit powerful as hell. Uh got him with the air strike. All I need is one more for the helicopter. It's murder time, baby. I hope you packed a hard hat in your lunchbox. As he try to hide in the motherfucking shipment container, bitch. Get out the dark corners for I make an episode on you. Ha 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 ha. And I know y'all, a lot of y'all probably was expecting a Corner Campus Exposed video today. But I asked for 500 likes on that video and I ain't get them yet. I'm only at 410, so if y'all want to see another Kona Campus Exposed video, be sure to go drop a like on my 1v1 cage match hype video with the gold AK on the thumbnail. Maybe by next Sunday I'll hit 500 likes. I can drop that video on y'all. And I guess that means I'm going to have to get back out on Black Ops 3. See if I can find some more Kona Campus to get some footage on. So if you like the Kona Camp, be sure to play a lot of hardcore free for all this week. Because I'm going to get on there and try to hunt for some corner campers. So I can expose their ass. Put you on the big screen and make you a star, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Hopefully Infinity Ward put a theater mode in Infinite Warfare. So I can continue the series on into Infinite Warfare. You know, but if it ain't no theater mode, I ain't going to be able to get that gameplay from their eyes. Only way I'll be able to get some Kona Camper footage is if they send it to me, and you know that ain't about to happen. But if you're a Kona Camper, you need to be proud of your shit. Don't be ashamed, you know. If you fuck around and see yourself in an episode of Kona Campus Exposed, don't be embarrassed. You wasn't embarrassed when you were sitting in them motherfucking Konas. Don't be embarrassed because a nigga calling you out, roasting you while everybody laughing at your bitch ass. If you're going to Kona Camp, own up to that shit. Embrace it. Put it in your motherfucking uh, clan tag. C-A-M-P. Make you an emblem. Icona camp. Be proud of this shit. And let me address something else. Before Modern Warfare Remastered even come out. Because back in the day when Modern Warfare was out. And a joker like me was playing a lot of cage matches. I used to run into a lot of people wanting to boost. They'd have. What would they have in their clan tag? 
HSX1. I never knew what that shit was until my little cousin told me. Oh, that mean that stand for headshots times one. Or they have HS times three. Headshots times three. Or times nine. Let me hear you to the game, because I know these bitches going to come back with the same lame shit. Especially trying to unlock uh, gold camo for all these weapons. They want to sit up there and play a cage match with you, but they don't want to play a, a, a decent, honorable cage match. What these hoes do is agree in the beginning of the match to trade headshots with each other. So what they do, for example, on this map, they would all go out. Each player would go out to the middle of the map and take turns shooting each other in the head. I ain't lying. You got to get 150 headshots. To unlock, the, you know what I'm saying, the maximum camo. At least in the old version of the game, you had to get 150 headshots with each gun in each category to get the gold weapon unlocked. So a lot of people wasn't trying to do that the hard way. They want to do it the easy way. Meeting up in the middle of the map, kneeling down like a knight, getting shot in the back of the head nine times. And then it's your turn. You get nine kills. Man, look here. Y'all stay the fuck out of these cage matches with that bullshit for I report y'all last because I'll do it. Let's keep the cage match playlist honorable and keep that fucking boosting shit the fuck on out of here. That's if we lucky enough to get a cage match in Modern Warfare Remastered because they know what's up with the boosting. And I wouldn't be surprised if they omitted cage match from the playlist altogether. So if we lucky enough to get cage matches again in Modern Warfare Remastered, do not go in there with that old school headshot pussy shit, because guess what? I'm going to make an episode about y'all. How about that? You got to get these wins the G-Way, baby, or hit the motherfucking freeway. We won't play that bullshit. As I chalk up another win, merciless badass nigga. Now moving on to my third favorite map in Modern Warfare. Y'all will probably see a lot of gameplays on these three maps. Mainly because these maps are small and you're able to end the game in three to four minutes. Maybe even two minutes. And in a cage match that's only ten kills to win. If you're going any longer than three or four minutes to get ten kills, that makes for a boring ass game. Like I got a, a gameplay... Me 1v1 and against a sniper on countdown that I wanted to put out. But it's damn near 10 minutes. To me, that's too damn long to be getting 10 kills. That's like a kill a minute. But y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all want to see that shit anyway. I, I want to put it out. You know what I'm saying? 1v1 against a sniper. Of course, I bust his ass with the M4 spoiler alert. But yeah, man, I'm loving these maps. I'm having fun out here. Y'all know me. I like to do what's fun. If I ain't having no fun at it, I ain't fucking with it. That's my motto. If you don't like it, you ain't got to watch it. They got a thousand other card channels you can go look at. Don't waste your time complaining because I don't give a fuck. I'm doing me. You know what I'm saying? Going up against that boy Blind Hobo Braden again. This one of them five games we played the other night. Played some good games with this dude, man. Probably some of the best games I done had in the cage match in a long time. But y'all talk to them in the comment section, man. How many of y'all got a PS3 and Modern Warfare and want to jump on and play some free-for-all? Talk to them and now let's set up a time. Everybody, we can all get on at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Play two or three hours of free-for-all with no hackers. You know, we can go ham out there. I know I've been missing from the comment section a lot lately. I've been real busy. But I guarantee you I'm going to check these comments. Take note of everybody who say they with it. And then we're going to have to communicate and set up a time frame to get this popping. You know, this game going to be out in a little less than two months. So that's right around the corner. It's time to go ahead and dust it off. Brush up on your skills. And get ready for this bandwagon that's coming. Yeah, I'm talking all you bandwagon riders. Everybody that's hating on Infinite Warfare just because everybody else hating. And then after the game come out and YouTube will start putting out videos, then you're going to go buy the motherfucker like you wasn't hating on it. Yeah. I'm not going to spend $80 just to get Modern Warfare Remastered. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You're going to wait till the bandwagon get too goddamn loud. You ain't going to be able to help yourself. 
you're going to have to jump on it because everybody in school and work going to be talking about it. And you ain't going to want to be left out. You know how y'all like to do that shit. I can't stand y'all motherfucking ass. When I started my channel back at the end of Advanced Warfare, nobody was giving a fuck about my Advanced Warfare videos. Why? Because they was bandwagon riders and they was hating on the game that was really a dope game. Black Ops 3 Beta came out. That's all anybody gave a damn about. And we're in that same exact place now with Black Ops 3. Don't nobody give a damn about Black Ops 3 no more. It's all about the hype for the new games. And then when the new games come out, what's going to happen? That hype going to die down, and you still going to end up playing Infinite Warfare until they announce the new Call of Duty game, then everybody going to be hating on Infinite Warfare. It's a vicious cycle. Y'all got to make up your own minds. Quit jumping on these bandwagons. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be a hate bandwagon or a love bandwagon, everybody likes to always group up together and do what the masses do. Look here. Fuck the masses, man. Do you. I just had to get that shit off my chest. <laughs> if I offended anybody, don't take it personally. I'm just trying to slap y'all and wake y'all up. You know what I'm saying? If somebody pass out, you got to come slap them in the face and wake their ass up because they got knocked out. You know what I'm saying? You got to put the smelling salts up under their nose. Sometimes people need that in life. You know? Stop jumping on these bandwagons, man. Where I come from, we call that bopping. Don't be a bopper. I always trying to fuck with what's popular. That's it for the video. Y'all already know the motherfucking drill. Merciless badass nigga. Call it Duty OG. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to pimp slap the piss out of that like button for your boy. Leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that motherfucking subscribe button and don't miss none of this Call of Duty real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me.